moment, I'm going to show you some things called Qigong. And Qigong is a form of Chinese yoga. And it's deep breathing and stretching. And if you can, get in the habit of doing this every morning. Especially when you wake up before you eat your breakfast, you'll find that the benefits are tremendous. So follow me, I'll talk through it. And I'm going to show you some things for tapping yourself for acupuncture, how it can stimulate your whole body and give you maybe longevity of life. First move will be a Qigong move. I usually start with my feet together. I usually go into a prayerful pose and I just bow and I use the word namaste. That word means the spirit within me honors the spirit within you. So the first thing we're going to do now is step with your left foot shoulder width. All I want you to do now is open your palms like this and breathe in through your nose. Turn the hands over and exhale and go, ah, and sink your knees a little. Palms open, breathe in. Turn the hands over, exhale, ah. Breathe in. Turn the hands over, exhale, sink. Now I'm only doing three now, but I would recommend to do at least six of them. And that's a great way to wake your body up. The next move is for high blood pressure. Let your arms float slowly up to shoulder height, wrists relax. Exhale and just sink in your knees a little. So you breathe in, straighten the legs up. Exhale, sink. It's like painting a wall with two paintbrushes. Go up the wall with the two brushes and down the wall. By doing this move here, you relax the nervous system. And by relaxing the nervous system, you lower your blood pressure. Good, how'd that feel for you? All right, next move. Palms face each other. Bring it up to your chest. This is called opening the energy gates. This is good for asthma or respiratory problems. Breathe in slow. Expand. As you exhale, let the knees bend slightly. Always work on your legs if you can. Breathe in. Exhale. Let this move be like you're hugging the whole world. Breathe in. Exhale. I'll do one more like that. Breathe in. And out. Once you're finished, just bring your hands into your chest and let them softly come down. The next Qigong move is for the back. The palms face each other, just bring it up to your chest right here. Take the left hand and push it up and the right hand push down. It's called connecting heaven and earth. Now breathe in and the two palms pass each other. Exhale, nice stretch. This opens up the vertebrates. Breathe in, exhale. I'm told by one of my teachers, if you do this enough, you'll grow maybe a half inch. Stretch. And one more, breathe in. Exhale. Bring both hands to the chest and softly come down. So there you have a little bit of what Qigong is like. There's over 6,500 moves of Qigong. I'm only showing you about three right now. The next area I want to get into is called Lohan padding. This is great for the whole body. It stimulates the body, it builds up the immune system, and it's great for the meridians to strengthen them. So here's how it works. Put your left arm out, start patting up and down. Up and down the outside of the arm. Now turn your arm up, go to the inside. I'm only doing a few pats. You can do a lot more than what I'm doing right now. The inside works your heart and lung area, strengthens that area. And then switch arms, go to the right arm, same thing, outside of the arm. And turn the arm up, go to the inside. Good, now the next one, put your left arm out, just below your armpit. This is great for the lymphatics and also the spleen, tap in here. This form of Lohan padding goes back thousands of years. Switch arms. Now the next area is your liver and spleen right in here. Just pat.
Then move your hands a little midsection, your stomach. And lower yet. And then go to your hips. Go down the outside of your legs. Come up the inside. Once you do two or three sets of those, then go to your buttocks. Just hit the butt. You have a bladder meridian running through there, and you stimulate that. The next one's your face. Help your complexion. You have acupressure points along your jawline. Forehead. It's great for sinuses, headaches. Behind the neck. Also good for tension headache. And massage your ears. You have over 100 acupressure points in your ears. Just rub all around the ears. Go inside the ears. If you wear a hearing aid, just do the perimeter of your ears. And then the next one is just take a couple fingers right between the eye. You have a bladder meridian and the endocrine system part. Just tap. All you need to do is tap seven to 10 times. Corners of your eyes, your gallbladder. Under your eye, your stomach. Upper lip, called the governing vessel. This is great for your brain. Lower lip, same thing, called the conception vessel. And then right up in here, your kidney meridian tap. And then a cushion part of your hand. There's three acupressure points there for your small intestine. Karate chop the other hand. If you get tired that way, just switch hands. And then make two fists and rub your kidneys and adrenals in the back. And then with your fists, hit on the side of your knees. That's called stomach 36. That's a major acupressure point, and that's good for strengthening the whole immune system. And also the Chinese believe that's good for longevity of life, whatever that means for you. To close this, I open my palms, I breathe in, the hands come together. I exhale to the chest. I open it into the lotus flower, the flower of beauty, strength, and purity. I breathe in its strength. As I exhale, I close the flower into two fists. I breathe in and push it out to the universe. As I exhale, I open and I let it go. I come back into prayerful pose. Namaste.